Are you a fan of Doom and Halo? Have you always wanted to see the two games collide? Did you find yourself not satisfied by watching Master Chief and Doom Slayer dance on Fortnite TikTok? Well, get ready for this. This is Halo Doom, a mod that slams the world of Halo feet first into hell. And by hell, I mean Doom 2. It's honestly one of the highest quality mods I've ever played, and so much so on the onus that there's so much micro detail, so much fandom cheesiness, so much careful consideration for integrating a nearly 20 year old franchise into an almost 30 year old franchise. Halo Doom modifies the base Doom 2 experience by implementing many elements of Halo's gameplay sandbox, all while re-envisioning assets from the nearly 20 year old Halo history into the Doom style. The action is bombastic, and of all the things that stood out to me about this mod, it's how impressive the animations and actions really make the weapons of Halo seem. It's so cool, so violent, and so powerful that it almost makes Halo seem like a nerf FPS game. I was so impressed with the mod and project, I reached out to the creators, Rev and Luisk, for a brief interview. We talked about the creative process, how a project like this is managed, and about how the team managed to get all the best parts of Halo into Doom. I have an important side note though for everyone watching this video. Hey, what's up guys? I'm here in my garage with my Mitsubishi, but you know what I like more than my Mitsubishi? If you are watching the Ascent Hyperion YouTube channel this month, you should feel good about yourself because I'm giving all my ad revenue of January 2023 away to help fight child hunger. I'll be donating all that revenue from this month to No Kid Hungry, a very reputable charity I've read a lot about and feel very good about myself. I won't go on for too long, but I do come from a poor background and I understand the relevance, the impact, and the importance of programs like this in targeting and making sure that kids get fed. And it's not just the videos this month, which I will be doubling down on to make sure that we're hitting some type of good mark here. It's any video, all ad revenue against the channel. So, so thank you guys for your help with this and let's get back to what we're doing. <laughs> I don't actually wear glasses. Hello, my name's Revenge. I am the lead developer of Halo Doom. I am primarily responsible for the sound design, a, a lot of the gameplay decisions, the creation of art assets, rather that be uh, commissioning them or jumble jacking them myself in Blender. We're hearing how many hats you wear and how you guys already have a system set up where you commission um, artists exterior to your immediate team. How many people are actually on the mod team for this project? It's me, Lou, three animators, Moa Dixon, uh, Berserik, Morbid Angel serving as both an animator and a 3D specialist. We're modeling. So like, here's the funny thing. When I think of Doom, I think of everything being like pixel sprites. But you're saying that you guys use a process where you're converting 3D models to the final products we see in the mod. Um, it's actually not that different from the original Doom. Like, for instance, the original sprites for Doom Guy were uh, based off of a clay model. Really? That's pretty cool. I guess that makes sense. That's pretty cool. So overall, a pretty small team, but doing a lot of work day to day. The development of Halo Doom, what does what does that workflow look like? How does your team kind of progress from stage to stage? Uh, basically, we have a season system. This season in particular, uh, season three that we're currently developing, is currently focused on like polishing weapons that are dated by Halo Doom's current standards, like uh, the assault rifle especially. That one is due for a major overhaul. When I played through the mod, I know one thing I was, I was really impressed with, or something I really liked seeing, is that you guys used not just a single set or a single era of, of Halo weaponry and styles. You, you kind of bring the last 20 years of Halo together in a variable sense in this mod. And the big question I had as I was playing through is what, what drove the decisions on what weapons got to be in Halo Doom and, and which ones did and what, well, how does your team make those decisions? Art style wise, it, I started with Halo Reach 
because it was sort of that middle point between high def and low poly. Halo Reach's graphics have aged amazingly. So that's, I mean, that's, that's actually a really good point. When I think about it, yeah, if I, if I did think of any era of Halo stylistically, that was probably the most apt to be brought into the Doom environment. It definitely is Halo Reach. It's less, it's less about the visuals themselves, it's about the style and the execution of the style. We, we've seen Doom step up through the years, and now we have, with Doom Eternal, like a modern iteration of Doom, and you, you see it in the 3D world and high-fidelity graphics. But now, in your guys' mod, you are stepping Halo backwards to somewhere it hadn't been before. And I think it all looks really good and really natural. There's got to be some level of challenge and some decision-making in converting newer assets into older stylization what what how do you guys how do you guys arrive to that point what are some of the decisions there what are some of the processes one big problem that we definitely had was the needler the needler is such a unique weapon uh doom's engine never really took into account we had to make a right overlay for the crystals uh sinking down into the gun as you expended the ammo and that's something you know, like in the modern day you wouldn't even oh the needles the needles go down and that it is what it is just as just a generic animation for the weapon but it's yeah you're you're pointing out this it's it's something to get that in the older form well the older form had no equivalent to that so how do you make it work so that's that's neat to hear yeah the ammo counter is basically a much more simpler version of that because all we had to do was like make numbers slap it on the gun and go boom there it's a good exploration of what if and in halo doom it does feel like a very good what if experience what if instead of being the pioneer of the modern fps genre halo found itself releasing just several years earlier and launched originally as the the old boomer shooter that was sort of the question i asked myself especially around the time when uh brutal doom was uh finding popularity um what what what's your favorite part about the mod the modern warfare styled animations that we went for like when i think of a spartan i think of someone that is trained with every single gun on the field for hours on end and they should reload these guns speedy snappy and with the utmost professional like using techniques that mil modern military would use for these guns and in the case of the sidekick it when you want to aim down the sights, you use center axis relock, which is uh, where you basically hold it closer to you and you aim with both your eyes. There is a certain charm to the stylized reloads of each weapon that definitely feel more punchy, more fluid mastery of the weapon in the handling of the weapon that we actually really don't see in the Halo games, which almost in comparison, what we see here in Halo Doom makes the Halo ones feel almost a little generic. What advice would you share with aspiring mod authors? And that's, that's not just Halo modders. It's kind of like anybody who wants to get into modding in the general sense. What type of advice do you have? In all seriousness, work within your limitations. Don't try to break them because those limitations will end up breaking you. Do you think it's a lot of you think a lot of mod modders start with very grand goals and discover that in order to achieve those you have to you know it's kind of like you, you go from point A to point B, you don't go from point A to point F, right? Basically, small achievable goals at first, then move on to bigger ones. Basically life improvement in video games. <laughs> but also, like, uh, know the limitations of the engine that you're working with so you don't come in thinking, oh, I can do this, and make your big promises and all that stuff, and then all of a sudden you look like a jackass. Right. There is a large problem with over-promising and under-delivering, if, if there even is a delivery. It's so cool to see this mod because, honest to God, I feel like I see so little about this mod, but here it is delivering so much. And that's that's extremely cool. I think that speaks that speaks more about the quality of it than not. That was the abbreviated interview with Rev and Lou. If you'd like to have the whole thing, let me know and I can post it in a podcast format style. You need to try Halo Doom for yourself. Seriously, I really do recommend this one. You can find it by joining their Discord, which I'll include an invite link to as well. And you can follow them for more updates on their Twitter, Halo Doom. 
Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think about this mod. Will you give it a try? Seriously, you should. Until next time, I'll catch y'all later.